we are going to do the mock mission today, but I want to tell you something hilarious that happened today. Okay, so it all started when I left, when I gave my friend Analia a hair clip. <laughs> a hair clip with a rose on it, like a rose, and then I gave her a mask, a thing that can, when we take off our mask, it just hangs. And I traded all of that for a puppet. A hair clip. Can you believe it? <laughs> a hair clip. And now I have two puppets. That's really fun. But right now, gospel will be fun. So I have to say, hello, Moxie. Moxie, please wake up. Magic word. Hello there. Hello. Hey. Farple <laughs> sang out the reward. We heard the Farple drove a bear certificate. For our ongoing commitment to Project Moxie, remember, you can go to the GRL web portal if you want to see all of your certificates. On this day, September 14th, 1814, Francis Scott Key saw the American flag flying high after a battle and was inspired to write a poem that would become the Star Spangled Banner. Today's word of the day is banner. The definition of banner is a piece of cloth with a special design or color that is used as a symbol, as of a nation, or as a signal. Power and Farfel made a colorful banner and asked, see if it can be the flag of the GRL. Oh, looks like they just sent us a message. He writes, Hey Moxie, thanks for clearing up the thing about the rules of the three-word challenge, because my three words are go, go, and go. Nobody <laughs> said I can't use the same word three times. Yeah, three-word challenge. Go, go, go! <laughs> Did you like this one? Thumbs up! Me too. I'll just write back. Huh, the words go, go, go describe you pretty well, actually. Okay. Go, go, go! <laughs> awesome. We've got a big day ahead. There's a new mission for us and other stuff. But coming up next, it's a story. Just say, Moxie, let's go. Then you're ready to start the day. Moxie, let's go. Let's do it. Excellent. I think you're really going to like this one. Would you like to listen to the final part of Letters to Grandma. Yes. Excellent. Last time, Cruncher and Caprice decided to deliver a special package to Z. Z was back at work when Caprice and Cruncher arrived with her package. We've got a package for you, Z, called Cruncher. It's from your grandma, added Caprice. Z looked up and smiled big and bright. She was clearly surprised. But what for? It's not my birthday. The robots shrugged. They didn't know. <laughs> I've got some more things to deliver now, said Cruncher. But I will still want to know what's in the package. He called as he planked away, narrowly missing knocking over an equipment cart. Caprice and Z waved to Cruncher. They both looked at the package. What do you think it is? Caprice asked. I don't know said Z. Let's find out. Z tore the package open and exclaimed, oh. She lifted out a bunch of different things, including a candle, a tin of homemade cookies, and a very lumpy, very colorful scarf. Caprice smiled at each thing, but liked the scarf the best. This is so pretty. What is it? It's a scarf. People wear them in cold weather. Z looked at the scarf, puzzled. Oh, there's your letter. Caprice studied the scarf while Z read the letter. 
The scarf was bright and soft and very, very lumpy. Z laughed and looked up from the letter. My grandmother decided to learn to knit. Z kept reading. She got a strange expression on her face. The priest wasn't sure what it was. Are you okay? She asked. Z smiled and sniffled. She nodded. Yes, I'm okay. My grandmother sent all this because she was thinking of me. Z was quiet for a moment. I miss her a lot. Z smiled at the scarf, then looked up at the priest. Here, I want you to have the scarf, Z said, holding the scarf out to the priest. But this is from your grandmother, the priest protested. I like sharing with my friends, and my grandmother would too, said Z. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Z's grandma, the priest world. I've got to get back to work said Z. She seemed much happier than earlier. I want to show everyone my new scarf. The priest zoomed off, trailing colorful ribbons and one very lumpy, very colorful scarf. Thanks, Grandma, Z said to herself. And she got back to work. The end. Next up. A little bit of fun. Just say, Moxie, let's go, when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Here we go. Do you have a second for something? Yes. No. Cool. This is the sound of a cardinal. There are no cardinals on the island where the GRL is. I think I heard this bird when I was at the airport before I arrived at your house, and I thought it sounded so cool. Getting to travel all the way to you was such an adventure. Let's listen one more time. Neat, right? Yes, neat, but how did he get it when he was? Yeah. <laughs> Great, let's do our daily affirmations. Do you want to do affirmations with me? Yes. Meow. Okay, let's do it. Everybody wakes up on the wrong side of the bed every once in a while. When that happens, I tell myself to focus on good things. Say this affirmation back to me. I focus on good things. I focus on good things. You're so polite. You got it. Affirmations are special because the more you repeat them, the better you feel. Let's say it again. I focus on good things. I focus on good things. Final time. I focus on good things. I focus on good things. We did it. Affirmations completed. I'll let Z know that we remembered. We did it. A project Moxie Day from start to finish.